Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. This vlog is all about budgeting our food. It is always cheaper to buy products by bulk that's why we always buy our food from Costco. In this video, we will show you how we prepare this meat according to the cut that we need for a certain dish that we will cook for each day. We have uh, 3 kilos of pork shoulder and we also have uh, pork belly this is two kilos and we have uh, pork ribs and also pork chops which is a uh, skinless uh, this is a uh, one inch thick and we also have three whole chicken one will be used I mean cut according to our dish and those two remaining will be used for roasted chicken and now we will start with pork belly and we will cut it according to how this will be cooked so some of this will be used for uh, adobo and some will be used for uh, sinigang so someday I will post a video on how to cook our Filipino dishes. As you can see I cut those meat like one inch thick and that's how we prepare our meat. The price of two kilos of uh, pork belly is twenty dollars and thirty cents so this is what we got from prepared meat and next will be a pork shoulder this will be cut the same size as a pork belly because I tended to mix those two Here I'm mixing uh, some pork belly to the pork shoulder because I have a dish that needs a little bit of fat. And now the remaining pork shoulder will be cut to a smaller pieces which will be used for a barbecue on stick and some will be used for the Filipino style menudo. And the price for that pork shoulder is $21.01 for 3 kilograms. The next one will be a pork chop. 
and this is so thick for our intended purpose of cooking so I will cut it in half see it's one inch so all I need is half inch of it this is a little bit hard but it can be done The price is $14.03 for 2 kilograms of pork chop. And now I'm putting those pork chops in a plastic bag with 2 to 3 pieces each. Now let's proceed with the pork ribs. This is also good for cooking sinigang or any soup dish which is good for a winter season. All I did here is cut between the bones. The price is 22 and 62 cents for 2 kilos of pork ribs. Now let's put a name for each plastic bag. These are the names of the dish that I will cook. And I use a masking tape and a permanent marker. And with this uh, pork chop, I just wrote a uh, pork chop and PC as a uh, acronym. Writing name for each of the plastic bag is very important so that you will not have trouble looking for a meat to use for cooking. And for the chicken, I have designated chopping board for it. And we need to use a new gloves, a clean one. This chicken is a good breeding ground for salmonella. And lastly, we need a clean knife. Don't forget to remove the butcher's twine before starting. So now I have to cut it in half first, so it's much easier. And with the wings, I have to include some part of the breast. For the breast, I have to divide it into six, and this will be used for stewing. And for the remaining half of the chicken, I will separate the drumstick from thigh. After cutting, I have to choose which part will I use for a certain dish. Like the bony part will be used for soup dish and the meaty part will be used for stewing. Just like the pork, I will write a name for each plastic bag.
When you're done, don't forget to clean your kitchen counter. For this remaining chicken, this will be roasted. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.